This looks like a good place to start and ask some questions. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? Your boy Kenneth, straight from Nola. Your boy Kenneth? Yeah, yeah. Kenneth, how long you been growing your beard? Since I was 18, it's a family tradition. I can't grow hair on my head anymore, so I ain't want to walk around with no hair, no hair above my shoulders. You know, I need to look like a man. The hair won't grow on my head, so I just wear it on my face. I, you know, that is the, the we get that a lot from bald-headed men. They're like, I gotta have some hair above the shoulders some. somewhere, right? And what made you grow your beard out? Why? Let move. <laughs> Let me get in between y'all. So, how do you feel about black men with beards? I love it. I love it. Um, I think it just makes them stand out. It does. It's really, really nice and full. Mm -hmm. It really is. We got a little baby black man with beard and training. How you enjoying the weekend? I know. I know, baby. He got a designer beard, y'all. What you said this beard is? Ombre, baby. Yeah, ombre beard. Look at that. <laughs> that blonde fade into that black is yeah, nice know. and glorious. So what made you grow your beard out? Oh, uh, shit. Most men can't do what I like to do what most men can't do. What that beard do? Beard do magic, it do damage. That's strength. Strength and power. Say it again. Strength and power. I love that. Yeah. You got an all white bike ride and an all white glow party tonight at 14 Paris. Second annual Nola Nobles Dandy Fair um, at the Ace Hotel during Essence Fest weekend on a Sunday. I have here one of our BMWB models, Mr. Darren Harper. How yeah, you doing? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm great. So how are you enjoying your Essence Fest? Um, it's good so far. I've been playing it pretty low key, but you know, do a little light music, move around the city. So I want to know what what does the beard mean to you? Um, it means something of significance, you know, something outside of the, the material thing. Because if you strip me of everything that's on me right now, I still have my beard, I still have my crown, my hair, my, my image, you know. And I have here some glorious black bearded men. What's your name? Dorian Alexander. And what's your name? Bilal. And you guys are participating in the event? We are, yeah. How long have you been growing your beard, do you mind me asking? I started mine November 1st of last year. Wow. And it grew out that full. It grows fast. How do you take care of it? Uh, I, I perform what is called a beard luster wash. Uh, and what I do is I, I use a low sulfur uh, uh, face wash that lathers up very, very easy. And then I dissolve it with a hot steam towel. We have one of the founders of the black men with beards. Miss Erin, come in and give it up for her. So excited to be announcing and, and presenting some of the best beards and barbers in New York. In New Orleans, for those who have never experienced the Black Santa Claus, you come to New Orleans around November time, if you don't have a picture with this man, there are others that don't have a picture with this man, you are not a real New Orleans. So, we want to honor this man with the very first Nola Noble Award because he has given us the image of a black man that is great that is courageous. And that's what the whole Lord of Nobles was built off, showing images of great black men. This award means a lot to me. You know, 46 years ago when I started, the pride weren't there. But it has grown to astronomical heights now. And it makes me just feel proud to be a part of it and be there for it. 